guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is finally the day when we are restyling my living area. This is not going to be an extreme makeover. Some of the things are going to be the same. Uh, in fact, most of the things are going to be the same, but still I wanted to record it all just to show you guys how the space finally looks like and what all DIYs I created. So before we get started with the entire thing, I just wanted to show you how the space looks like before and then we'll start with the styling. So I stay in a rented apartment, it's a 2.5 BHK which means that the dining area and the living area is one single unit. But in this video we are going to tackle this space where the couch is going to be. As you can see on the screen it has one main wall, one side wall and balcony door on the opposite side. I started to clean things out because it's always a good idea to work on a plain canvas. I wanted to go for a bohemian kind of a look for this space. No rules whatsoever, explosion of colors and each piece of the decor should have a story to tell. So first thing first, we are going to paint this wall right here. I always wanted to paint it and I recently got permission from my owner to do that. So we are going to start with this but before we do, we are going to put some painter's tape in the corner. mustard paint for the wall but the color seemed to be a little darker than what I wanted so I mixed it with some white until I got the desired color. I first used the sandpaper on the wall and then started with the paintwork. Hi guys it's next day in the morning 10 o'clock and we have made quite a progress. I had painted it yesterday night. Uh, I had done two coats and I'm quite happy with the color. I'm yet to do the top part of the wall, which is what I'm going to do today. And I've got paint all over my hair, my clothes, but it is what it is. It literally took me two days to do this wall. So please enjoy this time lapse of me painting and Riley posing for the camera. So I did a little experiment. I was supposed to paint the entire wall but what I did is I put the painter's tape over here and I just painted the lower half of the wall and I kind of like this half and half situation. Uh, what do you guys think? Please comment down below because in future if I get bored I can paint the other half of the wall too and yeah it will be a good change. We got the couch in and this place already looks so much better with a pop of yellow color. I have these paintings uh, which I specifically made for the living room. Uh, this one is my favorite. I made it with a friend of mine and it was so much fun to do. It is a pour technique and we had specifically used colors which would complement the couch. So this one goes on the top of the couch. Then these two small canvases which I painted randomly, it's again an abstract art. I used all the colors which I thought would look nice together and I also made some texture in the canvas. I don't know if the camera is able to capture it but uh, it looks really pretty in person. So this is going to go up next. My plan is to put the big painting in the middle, two small ones on the side to maintain the symmetry and to fill out any space in the sides, I want to hang the DIY wall hanging and also the bunting DIY that we made in part 1 of the series. I will also link the part 1 and 2 of the DIY series in the description box down below. Don't forget to check that out. For this DIY, cut the cardboard in the shape of a circle, take a measurement for any small mirror that you have, fill out the extra space by sticking the straws and spray paint the entire thing with the color of your choice. Cut the straws in any shape you'd like. Now stick the mirror in the middle and loop to hang it on the back side and the DIY wall hanging is ready.
For this wall, I had created a super easy DIY. All you need is an artificial creeper, some ice cream sticks and glue. Just create a hexagon shape out of ice cream sticks and create a big frame by repeating this process. Once it is done, hang it on the wall and put some creepers on it. It covers a large area of the wall and it looks super nice. This planter stand is one of my prized possession. I had been asked about this from so many people. I had actually bought it from Udaipur local market and I paid additional courier charges for this but it was so worth it. Next to the palm there is this corner which I thought needed something. So I put this DIY that we created in the last video. I got this rug from Amazon. I would link it down below for you guys. I thought it looked really pretty since there's a lot going on on the top. I wanted to keep the rug little plain. It has got this geometrical pattern which I thought was very pretty. I also made this coffee table last year. I will link that video down below. Riley has literally messed up the jute rope though. This is the same pillow that we DIY'd in my previous video. I really like the fact that almost all the decor items in this space is made by me. you guys liked today's video and if you did you know the drill like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye